Hi, I'm George Becker, owner and operator of the Valley Springs Youth Ranch in Black, Missouri. I'd like to take a few short minutes of your time to tell you about a program that my wife Joanne and I have developed to help young men that are having trouble with their lives. Valley Springs Youth Ranch is located in Black, Missouri. It's located on 205 acres, surrounded by the Mark Twain National Forest, and with 300,000 acres in our backyard. Uh, we do a lot of recreational stuff on that national forest, and uh, it's a perfectly good environment for these guys. It's located near Lesterville, Missouri. Uh, the kids do go to Lesterville Public School, the ones that are in school. We have um, many different therapeutic uh, sessions with the kids as far as uh, uh, sexual abuse, uh, drug and alcohol, uh, dysfunctional family, uh, anger management, anything that we can relate to the kids to make them feel better about themselves and to uh, identify with the problems that they've got and face the issues. Along with the therapy we do, the, the activity part of the therapy part two with the canoeing, uh, we have the horseback riding, we have the, we've done the wagon trains, we've sit around the campfire and do some counseling at night. We have unlocked a lot of secret doors for some of these kids in, in uh, dealing with some of the therapy. And, and when you're working around the campfire, you take them off guard and you get so much more accomplished with that. And I think it's just a, it's a wide open door for kids to express themselves and feel safe about doing that. We have done uh, many wagon trains with the kids and, and have accomplished so much through that because it's a team building effect with the kids where they all have to work together to get the job done. Even to, we've been to the point where we've went up certain mountains here where we had to have the kids even help push the wagon and it was a, a sense of accomplishment when they got done and could see actually that they had accomplished it through the teamwork. We're in the process now of doing more challenge courses here with the kids and and to do some team building and some trust issues and and to me that's a great asset here with the great outdoors to get the good fresh air and to to be able to do it without being obstructed by all the other stuff around something else we also offer for the kids is uh, we have a farm program where the kids actually get to go down and do work with the animals we've got many different types of animal animals uh, llamas sheep goats uh, horses, uh, chickens, rabbits. It's its amazing to watch the kids try to, to show love to an animal and get that response back that where they're not threatened and not hurt. And it's, a, it's an overwhelming feeling to see these kids get, uh, just feel good about being around the animals. Hi, my name is Texas Valderas and I'm the principal of the school here at Valley Springs Youth Ranch. We are a public school. We're run by the public school system. All of our staff are hired by the Lesterville Public School. But we've it, uh, developed a very unique program to meet the needs of the boys on grounds at Valley Springs Youth Ranch. We offer classes in special education. We serve at-risk students, regular ed. We also uh, have classes in art, PE, life skills, shop, and we have a work program that's a half day for some students. Our shop classes, the students make a lot of small projects and work together on some larger projects. Our life skills classes is really exceptional. We geared the life skill class to the needs of these students in that we teach them job skills, uh, employment skills, how to find housing, how to buy cars, uh, working on driver's license, banking skills, just a lot of neat things that they will need in life that they probably wouldn't have learned in the home. When every student comes in, we give them a short achievement test. And that tells us approximately the level they're working on so that we can program for them appropriately. We place them in the class that we feel that they're able to work on. And we also, adapt our program to their specific needs. If there are a lot of gaps in their learning, we try to fill in those gaps. We have a pretty extensive computer lab and a lot of computer programming in, for example, the Accelerated Reader Program that has dramatically increased reading skills. 
and also another program called an A-plus program that reinforces a lot of the skills. Probably one of our greatest strengths is we require mastery learning. All concepts have to be mastered by every student before they can go on. If they fail an assignment or fail something that we're trying to teach them, we don't even record the failing grades. We reteach them that material until they've mastered it. Therefore, most of our students have good grades. Now, occasionally, you know, a child may fail, but they really have to work at failing around here. You don't fail very easily because there's a lot of assistance. We have many positive incentives. We have a student of the week every week from every class, weekly honor roll, quarterly we have awards that we give in a dining hall, lots of good day certificates. We really emphasize the positive. We do another aspect of emphasizing the positive with our students is we do not suspend students. We deal with the behavior in a timeout room. Uh, they may go for a short period of time to a behavioral house with ranch staff where they intervene in the behavior and then we place them back in school. Our goal is to keep these students in school as much as possible and as long as possible. We feel that if we don't have the time with them, we won't be able to change their behavior. So that's probably one of our greatest strengths. We believe that if we can change what a child believes about himself, we can change his behavior. Therefore, our program emphasizes everything that's good about a child. We're looking for all the positives, all the strengths they have, and we just keep working with them. We always, always tell the teachers to choose your battles very carefully. We don't zero in on all the negative behavior, but we zero in on the most significant behaviors to change and then start progressing from there. Um, if we see that a student is not doing well or having a lot of problems and we don't feel like that we are uh, being successful, then we call a meeting with the ranch. We get the therapist together and we get the uh, house parents, the case manager, we get everyone together in a group and we bring the student in and we discuss what the issues are. We kind of put our heads together and then determine what we can do to address the issues. So probably one of our greatest strengths is the teamwork with Valley Springs Youth Ranch. Even though we're two separate organizations, we work really well together as a team. We're all very positive on kids. We believe in the ability of every child to change no matter how negative his past behavior was. Another aspect of our program that is really uh, beneficial for, to students, we find that many students who come here who have a long history of failing have really not been identified for proper services. Therefore, we give extensive testing to determine when a student may need special education services, and then we do all the paperwork and place them so when they go back to another school district, the paperwork is in place for them to receive the services they need. These kids come in with um, multiple failures. Many of them have significant learning disabilities. And many of them have been out of school um, for two months, three months, six months, and they've developed behavior patterns that keep them out of school and they've lost basic skills. And um, as everybody knows, you need to have basic reading, writing, arithmetic skills in order to be successful and to be employable.
Our main goal at the ranch, to every aspect, would be to make a difference in somebody's life, in some child's life. In way. Our sign on the road says, trying to make a difference. And many people have approached us and said, why do you use trying to make a difference when you really are making the difference? And I guess that's our, our, our hope that we can continue to reach that goal for every kid in our, that comes through our gate.